Hello, hello, this is Pender and today I want to show you how to build a simple automatic fish farm for Minecraft 1.11 and potentially also future versions. It basically still works the same as previous fish farms, but we need to make a few changes, because in Minecraft 1.11 if you aim at our iron door and hold down right click you can see the fishing rod gets thrown out now. In previous versions that was not the case. So instead of using the iron door to co uh, collect the right click action, we now have a note block back here and you can see if I hold down right click on a note block it does not throw out the fishing rod and pull it back in again. On top of the note block we have a slab so it doesn't make any noise, but you can see the fishing rod does not do anything. So uh, the way the farm works is we stand in here and aim at the top bar of the iron door here and um, as the iron door does not consume the right click action anymore we will throw out the fishing rod when we aim at it and right click. When the fishing rod uh, is thrown out the hook will trigger the tripwire here which powers the redstone and the redstone will then power this door down here and open it. So uh, with the open door we have a clear view to the note block and the note block then will consume the right click action so we will not pull in the fishing hook again. But once the fish bites the uh, fishing hook will jump down a little bit, you just saw it there. And when it jumps down the tripwire gets untriggered, the redstone here turns off which closes the door. Oh, so we just saw it again. And when the door closes we will look at the door again and uh, when we look at the door the right click action is performed and the fishing hook is pulled back in. So let's just wait for another fish to bite. Oh, there we just got one. And um, yeah, so we just can stand here, hold down right click and we'll get one fish after the other. Now below the water we also have a hopper to collect the fish. Um, it leads into this chest here and there we have all the good loot, uh, the fishing rods, the um, enchanted books, so Frostwalker 2 saddles, um, name tags, lily pads, bows, fishing rods, oh and of course fish, all that stuff you get from fishing. Um, and that's it, that's a, a new design for 1.11 and I will show you how to build it now. So to build it we will start with placing down a half slab in the position where we want to stand later. In front of the slab we place down the chest where the loot will be collected. Then we go on the other side of the chest and press shift so we sneak and uh, aim at the chest and place a hopper. So you have to sneak so that it doesn't open the chest, so you can see the hopper is aiming at the chest. Um, now we want to go on top of the hopper and place an iron door um, behind the hopper. So um, from the side it now looks like this. Now behind the iron door at the top part we place a note block. So um, we have it like that. And then we want to place a slab on top of the note block so it doesn't make noise. A slab on top of the iron door, that's really important because it uh, catches the fishing hook when we throw it out, so there needs to be a block on top of the iron door. And then we also want to have a slab on top of the chest, because um, that will keep the water from flowing out to the front. Now we also want to encase the water to the sides, so the water will be in this position, and we place a block to this side and to this side of it, oops, to this side, and break out the block in the center again. Um, on top of the water we will need tripwire, so we want to go one block up and one block diagonal from this one for the tripwire hook, and one block up and one block diagonal from that one. So we got two blocks where we can place the tripwire hooks at, and we can just do that, one here and one here. So it looks like this. Now we need uh, this to take the string and place it against the slab here to connect the tripwire. Ah, uh, there we heard the clack already, so the tripwire is connected. Um, and all we need to do now is connect the tripwire to the door. So the easiest way to do that is to place a block in the corner up here and place a redstone on top of that. So when we now trigger the tripwire it triggers the redstone and opens the door. Yeah, you can see the door opens each time. And that's it. Now we only need to put in some water and take a fishing rod to start fishing. And there we go. Let's wait for a fish so we see that it actually works. Yep, and there we go, we caught the first fish. It's a uh, salmon in here. Very nice. Let's catch another one. So I'm just holding down right click and once the fish bites, sup, we got it. There we go. Um, now this farm works perfectly fine in single player and also if you have a good connection to a server it will work in multiplayer. However, many people said with the um, old design, which basically worked the same, they had problems on laggy multiplayer servers. So um, I also made some addition to it, which is a little clock in the back here. 
and that should help to make it more stable if you have a ping of um, about 100 milliseconds or more. Um, so in case you just want to use a farm in single player, um, you are done now, just use this design. Um, maybe make sure to encase it so you don't get killed by zombies when you stand here AFK, so you should place some blocks around. Um, also if you want to go AFK, uh, you should place more chests because a single chest will overflow very quickly. Um, but yeah, besides that, the basic design is done. You, you of course can get creative with what you build around it, what block choices you made. Um, you only need to use a node block he back here, an iron door here and uh, a slab on top of the chest and in front here. Besides that, you are completely free what kinds of blocks y you use um, around the farm. Um, but yeah, for everyone who wants to use a, a farm on a server and might have a bad connection to it, um, I will show how to build uh, this little clock in the back here. So um, to build it, we just go to where we placed the redstone last and um, place a block to this side here, so where the um, block behind the tripwire hook is, and place redstone on top of that block, like that. Then we want to place a torch back here and um, place a repeater from the torch that's facing into the node block. So we need to place a block down here, place a repeater, and we want to have the repeater on the second delay. And um, on the other side of the node block, we want to uh, take the signal out again, so we place a block down there as well, like that. Place a repeater on top of that block as well, also on the second delay, so both repeaters here on the second delay. In front of the repeater here we want to place a block, redstone on top of that block, a block on top of the repeater, like that. Then we remove the slab on top of the node block and replace it with a repeater. To place it you will once again have to press shift place a repeater there, put it on the full delay, and um, as a last thing we need to place a block in front of the repeater here. And when we do that we should see that the signal starts traveling around and starts opening and closing the door, like it does here. Now while we don't use the farm we don't want to have the clicking noise all the time, so what we do is we go to the side here where we have the redstone and place on the block where the tripwire hook is a lever in front and um, when we are not in the farm we can just flick that off and it's silent but when we want to use the farm we can go here turn it on so the clock starts running go in here aim in the right position hold down right click and um, yeah the farm should work as well also if you have a little bit higher ping so let's catch another fish to see that it really works well Murphy's Law. Ah, there we go. Did we get it? Oh, we got a water bottle. So we weren't really lucky with the loot here. Um, of course, for fishing you want to use a good fishing rod, um, which has the best enchantments. So Luck of the Sea 3 and Lure 3 um, and also Mending, so you don't have to ever repair it. If you don't have a good fishing rod, you can also just start fishing with a normal one, with an unenchanted one because eventually you will uh, get better ones in your loot, which you then can use. For example, here we already got a Unbreaking 3 Mending Lure 2 Fishing Rod, or a Lure 3 Mending Fishing Rod, um, and eventually you will get the better ones. But yeah, that's it. I will include a world download um, with the both designs and maybe also some, some other variations of it. Um, but again, just get creative with what blocks you use, as long as you keep the combination of the door and the node block, um, and um, yeah, the tripwire in place, and maybe also the slap in front here, that you stand in the right Y level. It should be completely fine. Just try out to use different blocks, how it looks in your world. Um, but yeah, that's it. Enjoy the farm. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.